In this video, we're going to create user interface for the sign up page and it will have a cancel button which will dismiss the view controller. It will have the select profile photo button uh, which will let a user to select one of their photos from a photo library as profile picture. And then it will have uh, a few text fields like email address, password text field which is going to be secure text uh, entry and then first name and last name. The registration form is going to be uh, very simple, but uh, for uh, your mobile application, you can uh, extend it with other fields. And of course, the sign up button, which will uh, take this information and send it to the server side. But at this uh, moment, we are working only on user interface and we will not be writing any business logic. So uh, let's uh, go ahead and implement this. Um, I have my Xcode project open and in, uh, at this moment I have only one view controller created. If I zoom out, there is only one. I will need uh, a new one. So I will go into my objects library and look for view controller. Uh, grab one, drag and drop it into my uh, main storyboard. I will resize it um, to iPhone 4 inch and will embed it into navigation controller. Um, I will select view controller, go to editor, choose embed in navigation controller. I will resize navigation controller to iPhone each as well. And we'll position view controllers next to each other. Okay, so I will start with the uh, title and I will select navigation item and under title in attributes inspector, I will type sign up. Okay. Uh, well, first it will need to have a cancel button, which will dismiss this view controller. So I will look for the button and this button is going to be a little bit different. It's called actually bar button item, this one. So uh, this button can be placed on the navigation bar here. And I will give it a name, a title, bar item, that will be cancel. Okay, and next I need one more button, a regular button. And this button will be for uh, starting up image picker. So I will give it a title select profile photo and I will need an image for profile photo so I will look for image grab the image view and position it somewhere here resize it a little bit and like this Okay, now I need text field. First text field will be for email address. So I will, yes. Okay, just align things a little bit. Okay, so first text field is for uh, email address. So while text field is selected, I'll go to attributes inspector and we'll add placeholder email address. Uh, I will also add clear button is always visible. The next one is for the password. Placeholder password. And I will also add clear button. And because it is password, I need to check the secure text field entry here. Okay, and I will need one more. And it is actually a good idea to ask user to type the password again, to make sure they did not make a typo. So let's create two password fields. So um, for this, uh, I will placeholder also repeat password and then when we write business logic we will write uh, we will make sure we will compare the two passwords and if they are 
correct, we will let user press it. Okay, email, password, and a couple of more fields for first name, placeholder text, first name, and last name. last name and um, now we need sign up button okay so it will be sign up button and I will give it a background color blue and tint white Okay, um, I think uh, this is it, but let me actually uh, profile picture. I think it's a little bit large, so um, make it smaller and then take every single field, including button, and we'll move things um, here, like this. Uh, okay, so we are done with this video.